Hi everyone, welcome back. Uh, this is a continuation of our React programming series. And uh, before I get further into this, I did have a question about uh, if you're jumping into React, what do you need to know? And I think with any high level programming language, whether it's JavaScript, uh, React, PHP, all these other high level programming languages, I think you need to know the fundamentals of programming first. And that means like you need to know what functions, methods are to manipulate strings, variables, to create objects, arrays, and like the basic data structures, you know? And so I, I think it's very important to know that before you jump into a programming language uh, or a high level programming language like React. Uh, just know those, the fundamentals of it first, because once you know that you can really pick up on any language. Now, as for web development, uh, if you're getting into that, I do believe you, you need to know HTML and CSS. Those are not high level languages. Those are just markup languages because with HTML, you can't create functions or methods or any of these. But for web development, you do need to know that you need to know HTML, CSS, you need to know those structures, you know, just the basics of it. And to learn that really you just go to any web page and view source on it. And then you'll see how they write HTML and just know the basics of it, how to set up the skeleton layout, HTML head, what goes into the head, um, how to link style sheets in there. Uh, and then inside the body tag, you know, to know your H1s, how to create uh, CSS around it, and to know what classes and identifiers are, you know. Uh, a class is where it has a period in here, this is a class, and identifiers, if you call it like that, that's an identifier. And then just know the basics on how to manipulate the CSS around to, uh, to style it. But for React here, if you're jumping into this, yes, uh, I do believe you do need to know the fundamentals of programming. And like I said, if you know that, you can pick up on any language because you're gonna know how to write functions. You're gonna know what an object is, what an array is, how to manipulate it. Uh, it's very important to know how to manipulate strings. I've seen that a lot in every programming language. And so uh, since we are using React and use this JavaScript, it's good to brush up on JavaScript, know that because as we're programming along here, you're gonna see a lot of JavaScript functions in there, classes and how we deal with it. So I wanted to get that out of the way before you get further into these programming series here. If you just want to go along and just try to learn it on your own, it's, I think it's fine too. Just keep an open mind. Just really review what I'm, I'm typing and talking about when I'm saying functions. I, I try to lay it out very simply to tell you, you know, this is a function, this is a string, this is an object that we're creating. This is a component we're creating. And so uh, as you learn programming, when I say component, you should just know what we're creating. And that is the idea when you know the fundamentals of programming. So I think in this video, it will be important to go over syntax and the JSX that's involved in React here. So let's learn this before we get further into routing. Let's go over syntax. Okay, so let's take a look at our current uh, web page that we created right here. And so far we have a nav bar, which is a header up here. We have our body here with a uh, H1 that says home page, a P tag that says this is our home page, and then we added a footer down here. I added this from our last uh, tutorial that we did. I put in a footer inside of our components here. Here's the footer, very simple, returns HTML right there. And so everything we've done so far, we've been manipulating all of this inside of our app.css, the styles in here. Now I created these two new classes here. One is called red with the color red, and one is called blue with the color blue. So very simple classes in here. And we go back to our app.js. You've probably been noticing that I've been using the key term class name equals, you know, and then we call a class, right? So I'm gonna call red here. And of course that's gonna make the H1 tag red. How come I'm using class name instead of class? Well, we're using React and what React does is it's creating, it's an extension of JavaScript. So they create their own syntax in here. And so they created class name so that it doesn't conflict with class. And so you're gonna see that a lot as we're typing things out. You can call class or class name. So all React does is that it replaces this class name with class, that's all it's doing. If I call blue in here, it does blue. So there you go. So very simple, uh, that is the syntax for it. So when we're talking about JSX, like I said, you know, if I, I wanna have const body content equals, and I can just take this P tag here if I want, just put it right here. So that's JSX right there. And then I just call it body content. That, that's all it's doing. Wait, I think I have an error in here. 
Okay, yeah, that's right. Uh, I can't put this inside of the return. You have to put this outside of the return tag right here. So there we go. Save that. And there we go. We put body content in here. That's how we're calling it. And see, it displays the same thing. And so that is just JSX when we're wrapping it inside of HTML tags here. I can do an italic here if I want. You just keep writing your HTML tag. And it just puts it right there. See, I made it italic. So going back to the class name here uh, let's put this back here all right so let me just show you how to do inline style because in react here you can do style like this put double brackets like that like that right and inside of the yellow bracket here because it needs double with the bracket here we're calling our react and then uh, inside we have to put another bracket and then we can say background color and give it red now you notice right here, I called background color with an uppercase C because in CSS it's called like that. But React has to uh, change it so that they don't conflict. So that's how it's called in React. And uh, notice this right here, the double brackets like that, right? We're gonna save that. See, and I made the background for that P tag red. I can take this out here. I can go like that. And I can put const my, uh, my style equals bracket put inside that close it up actually i don't need this other bracket here and then uh, we just call my style here and it should make it red still there you go it's still red uh, i'll change it to blue for this one because i want to show you, you can add multiple styles in here let's make it uh, font size and let's give it like really big right 30 pixels and uh, you see i don't put semicolon like that you get to put a comma and then you have to put these in quotes here like that so i save that and now it's blue and look it made it bigger 30 pixels so that's how you can do uh, multiple ways for styles here and then uh, like i said or you know we use our class names so if i just call this right here take that out i just call it red and <laughs> class name equals and then that's going to replace it with red and there you go it made the font color red so that's how the syntax works in react there's class name you can also use class if you want like i said it still works the same but uh use the the react syntax here class name like that and then you can do inline styles like i showed so now let's jump to uh, the syntax for images i want to show you something here we are uh, with Re react we can call anything within our source folder here we we can't call the outside and i'll show you in a minute uh, what I mean with that. So inside of our source folder here, I'm going to create a folder called assets. And then inside assets, I'm going to create another co folder called images. Now I have this, uh, let's see, React logo PNG right here. I'm going to put that inside of my images folder here. Just move it there. And so now I can import that. I'm going to import and I'll call it React logo. Or I just call it logo, right? From dot slash assets slash images slash uh, react logo dot png so there we go i imported that logo and i can display the logo right here let's see i'll just put it right on the bottom here right image source equals look at that logo and it's just call it like that and let's remove this so let's save that identifier logo okay <laughs> we already have a logo here uh, we're not using this logo anyway, so let's just delete that logo. And we're using our logo now. Our image and we must have an alt property. So let's put an alt tag right here. Alt equals logo. Very simple. Okay, so here we go. Refresh that, and here is our React logo right there. And so uh, you see how we can call this by uh, importing a logo, but we can only import it if it's inside of our source folder here. That's why we have this assets and images uh, folder for it. Now I'll show you another way to call this. We can also grab this, right? Let's take that out. Instead of importing it, we can require it. Like that, save it. And then here it goes. It does the same exact thing. We can require it like that. We can also up here say const logo equals that, or we require it out here. And then we just call logo in here. So same exact thing that we've been showing how to call these uh, variables and things. So there's two different ways of getting your images. You know, you can uh, require it 
internally like that for inline or you can import it so what did i mean by um you can't access the images out here well you can't access it in react out here but you can access it in css so if we look over here in public right i have another image file here called ocean background it's inside of the public file and i can access that image through css if i want so let's go back into let's go into our index.css right here and you know how we can do background images so i created this css here for a background mm -hmm. image and now i'm referencing the background image using the url and i'm calling it through public here so let's save this and then we're going to go back here and look at that we can access the image through css but i cannot call this within react in here i can't require it or import it react will only let you access the files within the source folder here uh, that's something to remember here you know we can access things inside of our css here for the background image and certain uh, images if we want so i'm going to keep this background image like that and what i'm going to do is i'm going to take our other logo here and i want to put that inside of our header right i don't want this logo here now i'm going to since we declared it here as a logo i want to now pass it to my header because inside of the header you'll remember here we have logo here that i want to put so let's pass it through and i'll go over this a little bit more later on it's called passing by props and how we do it is we just give it a name here logo equals and then our logo so to not be confused i'll just call this react logo like this okay so that you know that this logo is referencing this and now we're passing react logo and we're taking this here so let's go to our header here and to access that uh, we have to put props because it's a prop that we are um, bringing in and let's say image equals src equals uh, props and then we can use the uh, logo name react logo like that we need an alt logo and uh, i'm going to give this a height of 40. whoops like that so let's go back here and here's our react logo in here you see how we pass that through because when you're passing things through in here you see how i called it react logo we're passing this as a prop now this will become a prop in here to the header and we just call it props we take that props and then everything goes into the props let's say if i want the logo name here right logo name to be like that right i'm going to take this and we are also going to have a props called logo name like that so like i said it's taking everything from the props so let's go back to the app here and i can also give it logo name equals and let's paste that in logo name like that right now we're going to go back here save that so uh look out how that works we can pass in multiple properties like that and then it's going to take it in as one prop variable and then we can call them all react logo logo name we can call them out and it will be in here right here so if i go to my console here and let me just view this right here and then you see right here here's the alt right logo name see it put everything in here so that's how you're passing things through i'll go over passing my props a little, some more later on but you know this is not the clean way of doing this logo here so let me cut this out and the clean way to do this is we don't want to pass this as a prop we don't want to do that uh, we want to go into our header here and we want to import it import logo as or from right there and then we want to have our source in here as the logo we also need the alt logo okay since we are inside of the components folder i need to go out one folder just like that and then let's go back here refresh and there we go we have our logo here and so yeah this is looking good right now uh, i just wanted to briefly cover syntax on this 
and the next tutorial we're going to jump right into routing that's going to be very important i know you're you're dying to see how routing works because that's what every web page does we need to route to different pages and work with that so it's coming along we have our header here we have our app so yeah i hope you uh, like this video subscribe for more and i'll see you in the next one for routing code kai out